Thank you so much for joining me here today. My name is Christine. This yoga practice is with a wonderful group from an organization in Tigard, Oregon called Breast Friends. They are a great resource. If you're interested, you can click on the link in the description box below. We will be practicing in a chair, but much of these postures you'll be able to do uh, from the floor if uh, you prefer to be sitting on the floor in a cross-legged position on your mat, you can do that as well. So we'll just go ahead and get started by coming into seated Tadasana posture. Tadasana is mountain pose and typically it's done standing, but today we're doing it sitting. So bring your feet underneath your knees. Bring them parallel to each other. Take a look and make sure that they're even and balanced, that you have really strong alignment here. Knees over your ankles, thighs parallel. And once you've established that your legs are square and parallel, you might close your eyes and just begin to settle into your body. Begin to let go of any thoughts or judgments or stories or plan making, problem solving, list making. Let it all go. And just bring your attention to yourself and this time that you're spending with yourself and getting to know yourself a little better and taking care of yourself a little more. You might begin to draw a little bit of length up your spine. Tucking your chin a bit and bringing the base of your skull up and back, kind of drawing your chin in almost as if you're wanting to make a double chin here. So really tucking it back, this counteracts tech neck, as they call it with the cell phones, you know, being down like this all the time. So drawing the base of the skull up in the back, tucking the chin, Imagining the back of your neck is just an extension of your spine, nice and strong and tall. And begin to notice your breath as you inhale. Notice your abdomen, your belly, your chest, any parts of yourself that are expanding. You might even notice yourself expanding side to side into your upper arms. Maybe you notice a little expansion as you inhale in the back of the body. Begin to relax the muscles of your face, your jaw, your forehead, your eye sockets. Just letting things be tall yet soft. Greeting yourself, welcoming yourself into your home, into your body. And then where I am in Oregon, we've had some cold weather and a little bit of snow today. So let's do a practice to warm up just a little bit. Bring your palms together and begin to rub your hands, creating a little friction, a little heat, resolving to keep that tall spine, tucking the chin, lengthening the neck, but even here, keeping the shoulders soft. And you can keep the hands low in the lap if you like to, or you can bring them up to shoulder height, maybe even lift them so that the elbows are parallel to one another. Just warming and warming, letting it be wherever is comfortable for you. Keep going. 
just 10 more seconds. Soft shoulders, so we can exert ourselves with the movement of the arms, but we can still keep the shoulders and the face soft and relaxed. And then we'll come to an end here and just feel the pulsing, the energy, the warmth in between your hands. Thumb to thumb, finger to finger, palm to palm. And then we'll bring our hands apart and let the palms hover over our eyes. Just dimming the light a little bit and maybe being able to feel a little of that warmth from your hands to your face. And then we'll release that, bring the hands to rest down in the lap. And let's just get a little bit of movement here, kind of moving a little bit dynamically. So finding a little length here, we'll begin to roll the shoulders up and down and back. Drawing the shoulder blades down, circling. And the next time you roll them up towards the ears here, let's stay here, take a full breath. One more inhale and exhale, roll the shoulders down the back of the spine. Let's bring the hands out in front of the body, keep the elbows close. Hug them in and turn the palms up to the sky as if you've got a plate of cookies. And we're just going to extend the arms, reach the fingertips out, keep the palms shining up, and then bring them back into alignment. Inhale to reach them out. Exhale to draw back in. And then maybe you begin to reach the arms a little higher. Perhaps even bringing them up alongside your ears. We're opening and closing the pits of the body here. So we're supporting the lymphatic system and all the lymph nodes that live in the pits of the body. Plus we're keeping strong in the spine, hug the ribs inward to support your core. And we're staying in strong squared alignment. Knees over the ankles and in front of the hips. Strengthening the arms and playing with your boundary. This may be nice and low right down here. And then we'll hug those elbows back in and here we're just gonna rotate the hands out. You could link the movement with the breath, drawing the base of the skull up and back. And again, you can be doing this all from a seat on your mat as well. One more time, we'll reach those fingertips away from each other and then back to center, turn the palms back down to the ground or back down to your lap and just notice how your shoulders feel, maybe closing your eyes again if you've opened them, softening the jaw, the face. And then we're going to do a little movement to support the SI joint today. And, and that includes some back bend work so that we can counteract that bending forward that we do. But we do still want to do a little bit of forward folding. So one thing that um, we might want to do is grab a strap. If you have a yoga strap, um, if you don't have a yoga strap, you could grab a scarf or maybe a little tea towel. I have, I have my yoga strap is always in my car. Um, but this is just an old bathrobe belt that I like to use for a strap. You might not need the strap, but it could be handy to have nearby. 
So we'll just scoop forward to the front of the chair, just as far forward as you feel secure and safe. And we're gonna take that strap and loop it down underneath the right foot. And so you want the ball of your foot, the part that would be pressing down into a high heeled shoe in the strap, not the arch. So we're just gonna Find that tall spine once again here and keeping your shoulders facing forward and your hips in alignment. We're going to inhale and stretch that right leg out straight. You might keep the heel down on the ground for starters here. Or you might want to lift it to hover. Just don't lock that knee. I'm going to keep mine down for today. And I'm going to begin to fold forward over my right leg. Now, this might be enough for you. If you're nursing a, an acute low back injury, no forward folds for you. But if you're ready to begin to build a little strength and mobility, you can fold forward right here at the hip crease and lead with the heart so that you're still keeping the spine nice and strong. So using the uh, strap, Draw your heart forward and lean out over your right leg. And we'll just breathe here again without locking that knee. And you might walk your hands down the strap. If you don't need to use the strap, you might just set it aside and walk your hands down your leg. Either way, as you're here, just give your leg some gratitude, this leg that is your leg, the foot, everything it's been through. Actually just went through all my high heeled shoes. It took me way too long to decide it was time to get rid of them. So long that they're in horrible condition and probably won't do anybody any good. So, uh, but I finally got rid of them. I'm never using them again. But you can make that high heel shoe shape if you like and maybe lift your leg up more parallel to the ground. And then we're going to bend that right knee and come back up to a tall spine and just begin to make some circles here with that right leg, getting some movement in the hip, but keeping the hips square. So we're strengthening around the core, strengthening around that SI joint, the low back and into the hips, and then we'll reverse those circles. And again, if you don't need to use the strap here, ditch the strap and just make the circles. You can hold on to the chair for balance if you like. And then we'll go ahead and release that right foot down. And just set the strap aside for now. We'll come back to it. Again, let's stretch out that right foot straight through the leg or with a nice generous bend and maybe you don't stretch it out very far. And we're just gonna reach that right arm up parallel over the right leg. Bring the left hand down to your chair and bring the right arm back as far as you can up and over, bending the left elbow and opening up through the front of the body. Stretching out long. Now you might stay here in your chair or you could press that right foot to the ground and press your hips up to the sky, taking a little bit of a back bend here. One more inhale wherever you are and then exhale to lower down. And then we'll just rotate those shoulders up and down and back a couple more times and grab a hold of your strap again if you're using it and bring it underneath the ball of the left foot. We'll stretch that left leg out as long as feels good without locking the knee. Find your tall spine, hug your rib cage in to support it. Lengthen through the back of the neck, soften the shoulders, soften the jaw. Find your breath. Where is your body expanding? And this might be enough of a stretch through the back of the leg. Or maybe you begin to draw the heart forward, keeping a nice long spine, rolling the shoulder blades back. 
Maybe walk your hands down the strap or reach out with your hands to hold on to your calf or maybe all the way down to your foot if you like. Couple breaths here, just getting a little more of a stretch in the back of the hamstrings. When we sit a lot, those hamstrings get shortened, which can also pull pressure on our low backs as well. So we do want to make sure to lengthen through the backs of the hamstrings and the calves. And then we'll come up and begin to bend that knee and make those circles in the hip. Again, with or without the strap. If you want to really find this strengthening, you could come to stand as you do this and you could be doing this on the floor. Just keeping your right leg extended or bent in Sukhasana and then we'll reverse those circles. Just getting a little movement. Oh, I just noticed because I'm looking at the camera that I'm really leaning over here. So if you are noticing that in yourself, you might want to sit up nice and tall again. And then we'll release that left leg down. Stretch it out long once again. Just put the strap aside for now. Bring your right hand to the chair behind your right hip and reach your left arm alongside or up above that left leg. Let's inhale here, open up, draw that left arm back alongside the left ear as much as feels good. Lift your heart up towards the sky. And if it felt good on the first side, you might bring that left foot underneath the left hip again, press into the chair with the right hand and press your hips up to the sky. Tiny little bit of a twist here, but we really want to press the hips up to the sky as evenly as we can. One more inhale here. Exhale, lower down. Roll the shoulders up and down and back a couple more times. And then this time we'll bring both hands to the back of the chair. So they're on the seat and this time we're just going to lift the heart straight up towards the sky. Open up across the throat. Let your neck come back as far as is comfortable for you. Now we're playing with our own personal boundaries here. So you might go farther or not as far as I am. We're not about copying each other. We're about feeling into our own bodies, our own boundaries. So again, you might stay right here, squeeze your shoulder blades together to lift your heart, or you could press into your feet and lift your hips up to the sky, squeezing into your glutes. And you can do this in bridge posture, down on the ground if you like, or come into reverse tabletop. Couple breaths here or as long as feels good to you. Hug the hips in towards the center. One more inhale and then exhale, lower back down. Come to sit once again with your heart over your hips and just notice what you notice in your body. Notice the refound refound, rebound effects. And notice yourself coming back to neutrality. You might notice sensation in your wrists, your arms, your throat, back wherever. Just being with you, paying attention to you. There is inside each one of us that little kid who just wants to be paid attention to. And so often throughout our lives, while we may not have had a lot of really big traumas, just not being paid attention to or heard or listened or allowed to be can be traumatic for a little kid. And we all have a little bit of us that just wants to be paid attention to, wants to be seen and heard. And we can do that for ourselves now. Notice anything else that's going on in your body. 
And maybe there's something intuitively that your body feels like it needs today. Perhaps you need to sit back in your chair and relax and just breathe. Or maybe you want to press into your feet and reach your hands up towards the sky and take a nice, big, extended mountain pose, Utita Tadasana. Lifting your arms up as high as your shoulders allow, lifting your heart, and then open your arms out and down and let them come down to your sides. And again, you can do that from standing or sitting. And then we'll get a little more movement in the spine, whether you're sitting or standing. You could come into chair pose for more strengthening, or you could come to sit in your seat for more balance here. Normally with cat and cow, where we fluctuate the spine, do some spinal flexion, we inhale as we lift the heart and exhale as we round back into cat. But today we're gonna do it a little differently. So let's inhale right here at center. As you exhale, lift your heart up towards the sky any amount and arch your back. Inhale as you round into cat and stay here for a couple of breaths, breathing into your back body. Tuck your chin deeply, stretch across your shoulder blades, draw your belly button into the spine. And as you inhale here, imagine yourself inflating your back body, feeling your rib cage spread out and away. One more inhale here. And let's exhale, come back to that cow posture. Stay here for a couple of breaths. Inhale, feel the belly expand here. Feel the heart lifting. Exhale, notice how you can soften and relax and stretch across the throat and the front of the chest. Inhale, find expansion. Exhale, let everything soften downward. Shoulders. One more inhale here. And let's exhale, this time rounding into cat. Couple more breaths here, breathing into the back body. And then inhale again, finding that gentle back bend, maybe bringing your hands to your seat, lifting your heart. If you're on the floor, maybe lift your hips up to reverse table or maybe even reverse plank if you're ready for that. Or if you're on the chair, lift your hips up as much as feels good. Couple breaths here. Feel your whole torso expand wherever you are, hugging your hips inward, engaging the glutes, lifting your hips up towards the sky, and let your head soften back as much as feels okay for your neck. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. One more inhale. And exhale, lower down. Let's take the feet out nice and wide. Again, sitting on the floor or the chair, however you are, we'll bring the hands to the tops of the thighs. And again, it doesn't have to be as wide as you can go. It can be relatively parallel. You find your boundaries. I almost said, you do you, but that sounded silly, but then I said it anyway, so oh well. So we'll just sit here right in the center and maybe inhale to stretch your heart out over the ground, drawing your heart forward, tucking the chin. Nice little stretch for the low back, keeping long through the spine and hugging your core up and in. You might stay here, just building strength, using your breath to strengthen the core. Or maybe you begin to dip one shoulder towards the center and then the other. Staying relatively tall here again, if you're experiencing really uh, strong low back symptoms. 
Uh, but if you have that range of motion, you can dip your shoulder a little farther over to each knee, finding that cross center motion that's so good for our nervous systems and our neuroplasticity. And then we'll come back to center. And this time we'll reach the right arm up long alongside the right ear. Again, maybe staying tall and strong right here, hugging the center in. Or bend that left elbow and bring the forearm to the left thigh and reach that right arm alongside the right ear, finding a little bit of a side bend. You might even stretch the right leg out long. Wherever you are, two more breaths. And then we'll inhale everything back to center and exhale, soften the shoulders, recommit to the tall spine. Next inhale brings that left arm alongside the left ear, hugging the center in, press into the feet to engage the muscles around the knees for support here. And if it feels okay to take that side bend, bring your right elbow to the right thigh and reach the left fingertips any amount away from you. Maybe looking up towards the sky to open your heart and perhaps stretching that left leg out long. So wherever you are, two more nice big breaths, feeling yourself expand with those inhales and feeling everything soften into the posture with your exhales. Inhale everything back to center. Exhale, bring the knees back to parallel. And let's scoop back onto the chair as much as feels comfortable to you while you still have your feet on the ground. If you'd like to relax back onto the back of the chair, if that's comfortable, feel free to do that. Otherwise, you can stay tall with your long spine, soft, heavy shoulders. Tuck chin and just notice what you can feel in your body, any sensations at all. And bring your hands to your heart, maybe with a gentle nod, offering your legs, your feet, your hands, your arms, your breath, your heart, your brain offering your whole body gratitude and friendship, and maybe even coming away from your practice today to be in partnership with your body rather than ownership. But to be a partner with your body on the path of well-being. The light within me honors that same light within each of you. Namaste.